How's it going everyone? Petty Kish Hun here coming with you with another video. We're going to be talking about this topic with Sony and PlayStation. Sony just can't catch a break this year. The great success of Helldivers 2 and how much it went downhill after the un friendly consumer bait and switch they did by forcing people to sign up to a PlayStation network, especially with the PC players. That was so much backlash that it pretty much made the game lose so much of its popularity. Helldivers 2 did do well, but now absolute failure. One of the biggest failures in gaming history, Concord. As I'm recording this video right now, it's September 6th. Today is the day, the last day, Concord servers will be pulled down and will be exited completely, never to be seen again, like a fart in the wind, completely gone, because gamers know that that game wasn't meant for them. It was meant for the modern audience that did not come, did not show up, and didn't support the game. It was a $40 game, and they couldn't even support that. That game failed aesthetically, gameplay-wise, it was outdated, wasn't free to play, just a bunch of issues in general. That game could not succeed in this environment today. After two weeks, what is it, like 10, 13 days? It's gone forever. My guess, Sony would probably bring it back in some sort of way maybe refresh it a bit, change it up, because they lost like $200 million on that game. So there is some stuff they could probably reuse, but this is why you don't pander to ideologies, to the modern audience. You don't pander to them because they're just a small majority of people and most of your people that you're trying to please and get to play these games are are the gamers themselves this is why you take politics out of gaming enough of that with concord see you concord you won't be missed yeah all right let's continue with this actually because that park place has this article up and it says sony cfo makes bizarre claim that the company does not have enough original ip Oh boy, that's a take right there. Um, we're gonna be reading this, guys, but before we read this, I'd love it if you guys could like, share, sub, follow if you can on this channel. I'm growing this community each day, and I'd love it if you could do that. I really appreciate it very much. Let's get into this topic ahead. Hiroki Totoki, the chief financial officer of Sony, shared that he does not believe the company has enough original IP as it attempts to completely overhaul the company from a consumer electronics company to a global entertainment company. Sony is now in California, America now. It's Japanese assets to America. This is where the change pretty much happened at Sony. That probably made it for the worse. I would say this is where Sony went downhill from here on in. They're trying to make the global market. And he's saying that there's not enough recognizable characters, original IP from PlayStation library that they can use. Yes, but no. Let's just continue. In an interview with Financial Times, Kotoki shared whether it's for games, films, or anime, we don't have that much IP that we fostered from the beginning. We're lacking the early phases of IP, and that's an issue for us. One of the ways in which Sony is attempting to correct its preserved lack of original IP is through a co-producing Japanese anime production, whether through Sony or with Crunchyroll. Sony has a ton of IPs that it owns, whether original or not. The substantiary Sucker Punch created Ghost of Tsushima, Infamous and Sly Cooper. Another of their substantiaries, Naughty Dog, created Jack and Daxter, Uncharted, and The Last of Us. The company owns the rights to Spider Man, one of the biggest IPs of all time, and has created a number of films based on the characters, villains, 
and supporting cast. Yes, this is very true. All of this is true with those IPs, but you can even go back from PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4 onward. You can continue. There is so much PlayStation IP that I would love to make a comeback in some sort of way. And I always say, it doesn't have to be triple A. None of these IPs have to be triple A. It can be a double A production. You can give me a game for $40, a platformer. You give me like Ape Escape, bring it back, you know, remake it, whatever, remaster, whatever from the PlayStation 1, that's better than a $60 game. I wouldn't care because, you know, the old people like me that grew up playing these games, we would love to see these franchises come back, but Sony doesn't care about them. And now he's like saying, oh, we should care about our franchises. We should care about our P now because we need to make it broader audience, broad it out, which now it's too late. For them, this is too late. They can't do this no more. It's a dumb take, but I, I do understand what he's saying. That because of what we did in the past and we didn't do much with our IPs, now we're actually slacking as what Nintendo, they have legendary IPs and that's why they have Universal Studio. They have rides. They have their own amusement park. Like... Nintendo is crazy. They keep their IP safe and everyone knows the characters. Everyone knows the worlds of their IPs. But for PlayStation, does everyone know Kratos? No. Does everyone know Nathan Drake? No. But most people do. You know, most gamers knew who they are, but normies don't know who that is. So that's why he's saying he's trying to appeal to everyone, which in general, you cannot do that. Most of the time, if you appeal to everyone, you're appealing to no one. I think he should be saying we need to focus on our old history of Sony PlayStation games. Try to bring them back. Try to do something with these characters or these worlds. I think that's what he's trying to pretty much say here. Sony also owns Fire Sprite, which developed Horizon as well as Ben Studios, which created Siphon Filter, Days Gone, and Resistance Retribution. It also owns Insomniac Games, which created Resistance and Ratchet and Clank. It also owns God of War, SOCOM, Killzone, Warhawk, Medieval, Mag, Bloodborne, and more. Yeah, look at all these games they own, studios that have these old IPs they own. Like, this is what we're talking about. They won't touch some of these games because my guess, they can't modernize the games. They don't know what to do with these games. They don't know what to do whatsoever. They're creatively bankrupt. They don't know what made the originals so good. They don't understand. They don't know how to bring back Twisted Metal. There's ways to bring it back. I have plenty, but I'm not gonna, you know, say all of them, you know, that's probably for like a separate video, but you, they don't know how to bring back Twisted Metal. They don't know how to bring back Medieval, which they did bring him back. It didn't sell too much, obviously, but I did enjoy it and I loved it. And it wasn't like a full price game. It was like $40, but it wasn't like a huge game. And I enjoyed it. I loved that game. That remake was really well done. I would love to see the second one come back as well. What happened in Killzone? Warhawk. Warhawk was fun on the PS3. I loved Warhawk. Bloodborne. Bl People have been asking for Bloodborne for years. Resistance. What happened to Resistance? That was an awesome game too. Ratchet and Clank, that's still a thing. You know, Ratchet and Clank's still there. Uh, Days Gone. Where's Days Gone too? People love Days Gone too. Siphon Filter. Come on. Like, you, you have the IP. You just don't know what to do with it. Jack and Daxter, Uncharted, Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, Sly Cooper, Infamous, Infamous 4, where's that? Sly Cooper 5, continue the story that left off Sly Cooper 4. Like, it goes on and on. It's crazy. Let's see what these comments say here. Sony has a lot of IPs. They can't wokeify them without users getting mad though. So perhaps that's their problem. 
that they want to create new modern audiences, IP games, and they don't succeed, mainly because the modern audience don't play video games. So true. I was going to bring this up. There's a good comment. They're trying to, yeah, wokeify most of these games. They're trying to put their own messaging into these games, and they don't know how to put the message for Jack and Daxter. Why? 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 Because Sony, obviously, with all the DEI bullshit nonsense that's going on, Sony's all in that ESG money. So, yeah, that could be one of the reasons. Does modern audience even exist? They don't play games. They don't watch trans shows. Where are they? <laughs> that's crazy. They exist, but they're probably around 4%. Yep, 4%. Attempts to completely overhaul the company to a global entertainment company. If you're trying to please everyone, then you end up pleasing no one. The generic woke slob Concord is the proof of that. So true. And you can see that, like, remember last year when Heels versus Babyface, as when he did that a legendary rant about pronouns and like just gaming itself in Starfield, how mid of a game, how bad of a game that game was. Boring! People were like, oh, you're crazy, all this. And now it, f and then it comes out now that yeah, that game was pretty much a flop. Starfield didn't get any rewards, anything. It was just came and went like a fart in the wind, like Concord. It's the same thing, nothing special. And then you see Wu Kong making crazy sales, and people are talking about him making art designs of characters, and like you can see the passion that was making that game compared to Concord. Concord looked like you just checked off boxes and that was it. That was the game. Not only Concord, Dustbin, Fall, Fail Spoken, SSK2JL, AW2, Alan Woke2, <laughs> Flint Lick, <laughs> Zayu, etc. That was great. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> this year is going to be called the year where DEI dried up here's another one ape escape kill zone gravity rush yeah gravity rush there you go resistance heavenly sword oh my gosh bring back heavenly sword warhawk starhawk puppeteer jack and daxter sly cooper freedom war socom parappa parappa the rapper there you go the real problem is sony doesn't have enough competent people to leverage its ips all the old old heads that create these ips are all gone from sony it's all young people and they don't know what these are like you need to hire people that played these games when they're younger and understand the ip itself but they just hire these like activists and these people that don't play really games and they're just there put out their messaging or whatever there are probably competent people there that actually work and design and do a lot of things, but they can't say shit. You know, they can't say much because they're going to get, you know, fired. I know there's people in the industry that can't say stuff because they're scared of the backlash they're going to they're gonna have. The truth is Sony has plenty of IPs they could use, but those IPs don't check the woke boxes. They mean original ideas that can turn billions a year with little work. PlayStation was known for legendary IPs during the PS4 era. I would say also PS3 might have been the best or the PS2. This some woke idiot question mark. Yeah, um, it's not looking good. They shot themselves in the foot with this, but that's just what I think and what, what we read here. What do you guys think overall about this whole thing? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, I thank you so much for watching this long. And if you didn't like this video, I still thank you so much for watching this long. Until the next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, all. See ya.